Hi there, I'm Tiffany Rodez from the Ghana Revenue Authority. This week we focus on taxpayer sensitization, the annual bursary awards, and paying tribute to our long serving staff. Focus on GRA begins now. Have you ever received a phone call from someone sounding like this? Before we grant you access to come in to upload your cash along with the keys to this brand new vehicle, you need to get the tax and fat cleared. What you have to do, you need to let me know if you think you are available having 250 US dollars to get your tax and fat cleared. Tax advance? Or maybe you were approached by a stranger who offered to help you with a transaction at the GRA for a small fee, of course. Don't worry about that. Just give me the documents, the 20,000, and I'll give you a compliance. Well, if ever you encountered one or both of these two situations and you gave in, then you were the victim of a fraudster. Here's what to do if you suspect that someone is trying to scam you in the name of the GRA. Firstly, all payments must be made to the GRA's cashier. And please note, an official receipt will be accompanied by all payments. It therefore means that no one should collect money from you on behalf of the Ghana Revenue Authority. Alternatively, taxpayers can utilize GRA's online digital payment options at banking institutions such as GBTI Republic Bank and Demerara Bank or GTT's mobile money. That's right, payment with just a click of a button. Done. If you encounter a scammer or you suspect a scam, then you should request the name and ID of the person posing as a GRA representative since all staff of the GRA are required to carry identification cards while executing their duties. Report suspected scammers or imposters to the GRA's Special Investigation Unit by calling its hotline 225-5051 or you can send an email to siu at gra.gov.gy. Welcome to Focus on GRA, a program of information for taxpayer education. The GRA, in a partnership with businesses and other organizations, facilitates workshops to raise awareness on taxpayer obligations. Over the past month, two such workshops were facilitated for persons entering the workforce. Here's more. The Tax Advisory Services section over the past month partnered with the Linden Hospital Complex and Carnegie School of Home Economics to sensitize persons of their obligations to the GRA. During an induction orientation workshop hosted by the Linden Hospital Complex, nurses were educated on the importance of filing income tax returns on time. You as the individual, you have to ensure it's your responsibility to ensure that that return is submitted to GRA. The nurses were also guided on how to calculate PAYE and set up an e-service account. The Tax Advisory Services team was also supported by the Supervisor of Tax Operations and Services at the Linden Integrated Regional Tax Office. You come to the office, you approach the counter, and we'll be able to assist you with whatever service you require. So we're partnering. As the GRI would say, we're your partners in development. We really want to help you. We really want you to submit your returns and to submit it in a timely manner. So feel free to come to our office, ask questions. Meanwhile, a similar session was facilitated during an orientation of new students at the Carnegie School of Home Economics in Georgetown. The tax advisory team educated the participants of their obligations as self-employed taxpayers, including deductions that are allowed. As a self-employed person, you will have these benefits to be less off of your expenditure to operate your business. The tax advisory team also facilitated a Q&A session during the awareness briefing. The presentation was done well. Thank you very much for coming. I was very well informed because I wasn't sure on the benefits of taxes. Um, I also was very informed of how to go about doing the taxes because I was one of the persons that had a hard time. Um, cleared up a lot of rumors because, you know, you hear a lot of bad things about GRA. So I was very much informed and it was very well done. I understand clearly. I may have a few setbacks, but if that's the case, I know how to contact you guys. 
From the point of view of the self-employed, I was most interested in that because I said in the future, if I go into business on my own, I need to know that it's important that I learn I must be compliant, right? To um, reap some of the benefits of um, thing. And it was important what Mr. Adams said, that even a little diary, no matter how small your business, you know, keep a little running thing of your expenses, what you spend, because that can assist you. And sometimes you might think the business is small, but then when you see it written, you say, but gee, it's over a million dollars I'm spending, so it's good to keep records. The Tax Advisory Services section partners with companies and organizations to provide guidance and information on various tax-related issues and raise awareness on taxpayer obligations. In its capacity as a supervising authority under the Anti-Money Laundering and Countering the Financing of Terrorism Act, the Ghana Revenue Authority presents to you this factoid. Money Laundering Money laundering is the processing of criminal proceeds to disguise or conceal their criminal origin. Simply put, it's the process by which criminals make dirty money obtained from their criminal activities look legitimate or clean. Welcome back to Focus on GRA. Turning our focus internally, this year, the GRA honored 42 school-aged children of employees for their successful performance at the recent National Grade 6 assessment. Each year, the GRA honors the children of its staff who perform outstandingly at the National Grade 6 assessment. This year's bursary awards is one of the largest, Deputy Commissioner General Hima Khan noted during her charge to the students. Receiving this bursary award today is not just a recognition of your achievements, but it's also from our end, the GRA, our investment in your future. And we are saying that this is a testament to your potential and a belief in your ability to make a significant impact to the future of Guyana. The GRA awards a bursary to students who score 75% or more at the NGSA. This year, all awardees attained more than 80% at the NGSA. It is just testament to show that the amount of, I would say, efforts your parents are making and the sacrifices that they're making for you to be able to achieve these uh, accomplishments. Ms. Khan remarked that the awardees are shining examples of what can be achieved due to diligence and commitment. The students were also encouraged to embrace change and face the challenges that they will encounter during their academic years. I want you to surround yourselves with mentors, advisors who can guide you along the way and provide valuable insights. I think uh, maybe I, I need to mention your parents because they would have taken a lot of sacrifices for you to be here today. And um, you need to appreciate that. And I would also like to say, uh, you know, from from our end, thank you. This is our thank you to the parents as well for the work that they do within GRE. And finally, employees were recognized and rewarded for their long service, which is the driving force behind the success of the Revenue Authority. Here's more. This past month, the Ghana Revenue Authority recognized and rewarded 145 staff members for their long service with pomp and fanfare. The evening of celebration included expressions of gratitude. One of the longest serving staff, Mr. Kevin Passard, joined the authority in 1984 when it was separated between customs and inland revenue. Passard, who served for 39 years in customs, noted it was love for country and the job that kept him motivated throughout the years. Joining the in 1984 was very challenging. It was not easy, the times were hard. People would think about migrating, migrating, because of those times very hard, shortage of these things. But I remain at the I remain to serve my country, so I decided to stay and work and serve. I got a lot of opportunity to migrate, but I choose not to migrate. I stay back and work, work and work, because I love my country. That's why it motivates me to stay. You gotta love the job. If you don't love the job, that will not help you much. Once you love the job, every day is on. Every single day is a holiday. You look forward to your job. Meanwhile, 
Manager for Licensed Revenue Operations, Yonola Ned, another long service awardee, pointed out that she had realized her aspirations of becoming a supervisor before retirement. Ned joined the authority in 1997 as a clerk. By God's grace, I've exceeded that expectation. Um, there were many challenges, both good and bad, but as a servant said, you have to love what you do. And from day one for me, I had a good mentor. Coming to your job every day may be challenging, but as long as you have a love for what you do and you have the dedication towards service, and you'll accomplish the goals of not only yourself, but the organization. Among those that congratulated the awardees was Chairman of the Governing Board, Mr. Sisnarayan Kaulazar. I wish to congratulate all of you who have completed 20 plus years of continuous unbroken service to the organization. And thank you for your commitment dedication, loyalty, and longevity. I applaud and salute you and encourage you to reflect on your years with the GRA and think of the roles you were assigned at both temporary and permanent from your first day of employment to your present. I'm quite sure it was not short of challenges and difficulties of tremendous odds and vicissitudes, and unpleasant and unsavory occurrences and events at times. But you remained steadfast. You endured and kept your heads above water. For this you are being recognized and your efforts acknowledged today. Also commending the long-serving staff was Commissioner General of the GRA, Mr. Godfrey Stacia. I commend you for, for absolutely spending most of your life here. I commend you for being grandparents and still uh, still working at the GRA. And I ask that you keep on putting your best foot forward. We're working to ensure that you are recompensed, both in salary and benefits, so basically your performance. Deputy Commissioner General of the GRA, Ms. Hima Khan, acknowledged the dedication and hard work of the employees who have worked more than 20 years with the GRA. I want to, to tell you today that the tokens that we're giving you are not just tokens of appreciation. They symbolize your devotion, commitment, and most importantly, your loyalty and personal sacrifices that you would have made over the years to the GRA. And that's in support of our pursuit to be a successful revenue authority. Our success is built on the collective efforts of every individual in this room. Whether it's your innovative ideas, your tireless efforts, your teamwork, or your exceptional leadership, each contribution plays an integral role in our accomplishments. Let's continue to work hand in hand, support each other, and strive for excellence in everything we do. Together, we can overcome challenges, exceed expectations, and create a legacy that we can all be proud of. So I want to say congratulations to every award recipient, and I would like to personally thank you for being the pillars of GRA's success. Thank you. The Governing Board and Management of the GRA commends these career individuals and public servants for their service. And that is all for this week's Focus on GRA. All notices, policies and information concerning the GRA can be found on our website, gra.gov.gy. You can also send us your inquiries via email, grapublicrelations at gmail.com or taxadvisory at gra.gov.gy. And follow us on our social media pages for up-to-date tax-related information. Thank you for watching. I'm Tiffany Rodias. Until next time.